U.S. Marines rise early, work hard, and follow orders. They're creatures of routine, but one thing is certain to change at military bases like Camp Pendleton. Soon, gay service members can be open about their identities and not fear dismissal. The repeal has already happened, okay, but the implementation hasn't happened yet. The 17-year-old policy, commonly known as Don't Ask, Don't Tell, is now a part of military history. It held as long as gays didn't reveal their orientation in active service, they could remain in uniform. In this case, Marines are getting briefed by an officer about what's changing. There will be no discharge based upon your sexual orientation. And what's not? The United States government isn't trying to change what you believe, okay? Still, everyone must follow commands, even if their religious beliefs condemn homosexuality. My religion is being put aside just so that, we, so that I can accept you know, someone else's preference sexually. Um, is anybody telling you what to believe? Since it's a personal private matter, it's not really open for discussion. Nobody's trying to change your mind. Nobody's trying to change their mind. Before a packed auditorium, members of the 1st Marine Logistics Group had plenty of questions. What comes first, religion or sexuality? Because if somebody uh, is very religious and they are, I guess, uh, against it in, in several ways, are they gonna, is, is it bad for them to go say, hey, I don't want to be a roommate with uh, that person because of their sexuality? Harassment and discrimination based on sexual orientation is now against military law. There will be no segregation based on it either. We already serve with gays and lesbians and bisexuals. I mean, it's just a matter of them being able to talk about it now. Some welcome the transition, some expressed unease. People live in the barracks and have to live, share the same rooms with them and share with them. That's personally would make me uncomfortable. The lifting of the ban on gays openly serving in the armed forces could go into full effect by the end of this year. John Moan, Associated Press, Camp Pendleton, California.